photographers and local dignitaries honoured veteran photojournalist Paul Kavanagh as he donated a selection of his work to the permanent collection of Loud County Museum. There's a great Chinese saying, some say it's a curse, but it goes along the lines of may you live in interesting times. Now, we can argue the truth or otherwise of what how pertinent that particular observation is, but I think it's actually a blessing if you're a journalist and if you're particularly a photojournalist. Paul Kavanagh Collection probably ranks as one of the most interesting and most important collections that we actually have in the museum. It covers all aspects of life, not only in Dundalk, County Loud, but also for the region, reaching into Monaghan and uh, into to Newry as well. It covers all aspects of life in the area over the course of maybe about 40 or 50 years. It covers everything from social and leisure to politics to, I suppose, current affairs and as much as people eking out in existence on a day-by-day -day basis. Some of the photographs are har harrowing, some of them are humorous, but I think they are all very touching and we're exceptionally honoured and delighted to actually A, have to have acquired the collection and B, to have been in a position to actually put it on public viewing and to put it into part of our permanent exhibition. Thank you very much, Minister David Ahern, for coming here tonight. Uh, it's very uh, kind of you to be here on this occasion, which is very important uh, to my father and the Cabinet family. We very much appreciate it. Thank you also to the staff of the museum who have do done a wonderful job uh, and a very artistic job uh, compiling this collection of photographs which will be available uh, for local people uh, to view and make use of it and hopefully uh, to look back at the generations and perhaps learn about uh, life uh, the way it used to be. It's really, really a happy occasion for me and my father, Paul. Uh, we've been busy working today, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, because they're making a, a short little television piece about some of his work and uh, we spent some time along the border today. For instance, we went to uh, Court Ban. It was a scene of a, an ambush in 1971 uh, where a British Army patrol uh, came across the border, or strayed as they would say, and it went in uh, to North Louth. And uh, myself and my father was there. I was only 16 at the time. And uh, I remember that, uh, of course, uh, Paul's only uh, action was to jump out of the car, load a roll of film into his Leica and run down the road and get as many photographs as he could. He just left me to my own devices. <laughs> and I, uh, I remember uh, actually witnessing uh, a number of IRA men coming, uh, pulling uh, guns out of the boot of the car and running and taking up fire, firing positions over uh, one of the armoured cars, which was a scout car, a little ferret it was called, and we heard gunfire, so uh, everyone, including the Gardaí and the army, ran back up the road towards us. And uh, I remember lying uh, down behind a sand lorry. Uh, at the time, of course, we were really captivated by this event, but when we thought about it afterwards, we just said to ourselves, gosh, uh, one man died and one man was seriously wounded. And that was the kind of terrible trouble there was on the border before there was peace. Also, of course, my mother was in the background all the time and she made sure that the checks came in. And, uh, <laughs> that, uh, somehow or other, uh, the small camera and small camera collection that he had made enough to bring up a family of five. But he couldn't stop uh, using his finger. He uh, took photographs. He wouldn't call them, sorry, he wouldn't call them snaps, but he just shot away all the time. And uh, he had tens of thousands of negatives uh, in, out in the shed outside the house and uh, they're being carefully stored, and they were very carefully archived by the museum here, uh, so thanks to the museum staff for that. So they really do recall a period from the late 50s or the mid 50s right through until year 2000 or so. It wouldn't have uh, really happened for Paul had he not decided in 64 to go up to Tony McDonald's, buy himself a grey suit, and head off to Wetzlar in Germany, and he decided he would buy one of these famous Leica cameras used by some of the really renowned photographers, Cartier-Bresson used uh, one in Paris, and he learned how to use that at the factory. And it's a hard thing to believe, but someone actually decided that he would do that and drive himself on and make enough uh, money out of it to bring up the, the family and to, to have such a wonderful collection of photographs, which we hope they'll be of great benefit uh, to local people and that they will really enjoy them. So thank you all very much for coming tonight. Really appreciate it. Many friends. And many <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, could I first of all thank uh, Paul for giving me the honour 
uh, of officiating here tonight and being part of his and his family's celebration. The day I was elected, or the day after I was elected, um, Paul actually was, and still is, I understand, um, a client of my former legal office. And uh, on the day in question, when I came back into my legal office, having been first elected in 1987, Paul took uh, out his camera and took photographs. And I always wondered, I have these most amazing black and white uh, uh, photographs at home. Uh, I didn't realise, I, I didn't realise until tonight uh, that those uh, photographs were actually taken by Paul, so I want to thank him profusely. I want to also thank Paul for uh, giving uh, this exhibition and giving, uh, donating uh, these photographs uh, to the town of Dundalk and to the greater area of Dundalk so that they'll be seen uh, for years to come. The one photograph that I particularly was taken with, I suppose you all were, was uh, the woman collecting coal in, in Dundalk Harbour. Uh, I don't know what year it was taken, but I suppose, as, as we were just saying down below, and Connor says you probably mentioned this, and in fact it was in my mind, uh, just to remind us all of where we have come as a country. My goodness, you know, in, in a relatively short space of time, uh, we have turned our country around, and Paul was there, as were the other photo photographers, many of whom are here uh, tonight, as a representative of the people of Dundalk. Thank you very much for giving this uh, collection of fantastic photographs uh, to this uh, town for future uh, posterity. Um, as always, I have to say, isn't he such an elegant man? Uh, he was renowned in those years. I remember uh, we, were, we were Maris boys. We were all, and of course Paul had, had, had a location just across the, from the, the front door of the Maris. So even as a, a Maris student, I used to marvel at his fantastic clothes, and look at him tonight, isn't he just amazing? He puts, he puts his own to shame. Yeah. He puts his own to shame. It's an evocative e exhibition, as, as, as Connor has said, in that uh, a lot of it uh, outlines the difficult period that Ireland, and particularly this area, uh, had to put up with for, for over 30 years. Uh, and it's but for the bravery of people like uh, Paul and others, we wouldn't have been really able to see today uh, the type of images that uh, we tend to forget happened in our community and happened very close, close by, and particularly for the younger people here in the audience who, who don't even know about what happened 20, 30 years ago. Uh, so again, I think it's very important uh, to, to, I suppose, finger post uh, how far we've come from those days. Uh, and again, I want to thank Paul for the bravery, and indeed the other photographers, for the bravery that they showed uh, in uh, chronicling uh, that particular period. Congratulations, congratulations to you and your family. You have a lovely family. I'm delighted to be part of your celebration. I'm delighted you gave me the honour. So I officially uh, launched this exhibition and I thank you again uh, on behalf of the people of, of this general area uh, for giving this uh, lovely exhibition uh, to the town of Dundalk. Thank you.